Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We are looking at factoring polynomial functions of a degree higher than two. We know how to factor quadratics. You can look back at my other videos if you need a refresher on that. But now we're going to look at factoring this polynomial and the degree of this polynomial is four. So the steps for factoring this are a little different than just a quadratic or a polynomial of degree two. The first thing we always, always look at is if we can take out a common factor. So in this case, when I look at all of my terms, I see that I have a common factor here of 2x. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. It simplifies the expression and makes everything a little bit easier. So if I pull out a 2x from every term, I'll have a 2x cubed plus 3 x squared minus 3x minus 2. This 2x we're going to leave as one of the factors for our final factored expression and now we're going to concentrate on just this portion in the brackets. We'll call this the new polynomial that we want to factor. So we've reduced it now to a three degree polynomial that needs to be factored. So let's call this p at x. In order to factor this, we have to make use of the factor theorem. The factor theorem says that if x minus a is a factor of the polynomial, then the remainder is going to be equal to zero. We know that we can find the remainder of any polynomial using the remainder theorem, so if a factor is sorry, if the divisor is x minus a, then p at a is going to be equal to the remainder. So if x minus a is a factor, then our remainder is going to be zero. So we're looking for the a value that makes the remainder zero, and that'll tell us that x minus a is a factor. To do that, we're going to look at the last constant term of the polynomial and the factors of that number are what's going to um, lead to the guesses for this divisor that we're looking for. So the factors will be our guesses and they are positive and negative 1 and positive and negative 2. So we start subbing in these values until we get a remainder of zero. I always recommend that we start with the simplest number and that is always positive one. If I sub in positive one here, we'll get two times one plus three times one minus three times one and then minus two and that is equal to zero. So this means we found it on our first try, x minus 1, because p at 1 is equal to 0, this is a factor of the original polynomial we were dealing with. There. So if we know it's a factor, we know that we can divide x minus 1 into that polynomial, and we should get a remainder of 0, and then the quotient will be the other factor. So let's go ahead and do that long division. x minus 1 into 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 3x minus 2. And we'll do the long division here quickly. If you need to remind yourself of the long division of polynomials, then go to my previous video. I'll link to it here and you'll see this process in more detail. So x goes into 2x cubed, um, 2x squared times, and we get 2x cubed here. When we multiply, we get minus 2x squared. Subtract, the first two cancel, and here we have 5x squared minus 3x. x goes into 5x squared 5x times. We multiply and get 
x squared minus 5x. Subtract to get 2x minus 2. x goes into 2x two times. And when we multiply, we get 2x minus 2. Notice how we end up with the remainder of 0. That's, the, that's what we should get because we determined that x minus 1 is a factor. If we get a remainder here, then something has gone wrong. So now, the original polynomial we had, the very first four, let's move this up, 4x to the 4 plus 6x cubed minus 6x squared minus 4x is going to be equal to, well, we had that very first factor that we common factor it out, so we have to include that one, 2x times, now we have this factor that we found, the x minus 1, times the quotient that we got, 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. But this quadratic here might be able to be factored, so we now have to see if we can factor this quadratic. So we look at this and we use decomposition. Our product here is 4 and the sum is 5. So the two numbers are 1 and 4. And if we use decomposition to factor that, we're going to end up with two factors. We're going to include them now in our final factored form for the 4 degree polynomial. And there is the factored form for the original polynomial expression. If you need to see the decomposition done for this factoring of this quadratic, then take a look at my video on uh, factoring by decomposition. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.